You're a punk, man. It's our punk dude. Okay, so here's my axe. I think we're good. Oh. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay, guys, we got the latest in the Spider-Man Across the Multiverse. It's coming out, and we got the action figures here, and we got more than I can stuff on this table. But you guys want to watch out because what we have here is telling you a story. And when it comes out, you'll have an idea because it gives away part of the story on the back of these action figures. So before we get started there, I got a few other things I want to show you. Then we'll hit the action figures. But first, let's go ahead and hit the mask. Here we go. First mask we want to do, we got three of them, is going to be Ghost Spider, Spider-Gwen. You can see it's official Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It's Spider-Gwen, and it's a web shot slinger. Plus, you get the mask. You put the mask on, you turn into a ghost, a ghost spider. And then on the back, a little bit more detail. Uh, says the same thing, but this time you actually get to see somebody shooting it, and then you get two shots. That's all. After two shots, you're out of spider juice. Let's go ahead and cut it open. Oh, some instructions. Oh, that's fancy. Uh, front, back. Uh, we'll read them so you don't have to. Oh, yeah, that's like butter. It's just smooth. Now there's the back. I think I'm going to need wire cutters. It's just easier, you know, with wire cutters. Oh, that's so satisfying. Look at that, just snappy snap. And then it's taped up here, I think. Oh, because that's the bullets. The bullets are up there. And then the uh, wristband. Oh, that's actually... Okay, all right. There's the... I don't know if it's going to fit around my wrist. I mean, it's for a small wrist, kid's wrist, you know. I might be able to get it onto the first notch. Ah, oh, cut off the circulation. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you have to pay the price of being a superhero or a super Gwen. You guys can like and subscribe now. Gwen, you say? Right now. Okay, I'm going to get this on. Oh, there it is. I got that through the hole, and then this is supposed to slide up. Okay, I, I think that works. Yeah. Don't talk back to me, I'll get you. Okay, <laughs> look cute. It's the last thing a spider dude wants to hear, man. You're a spider girl now. I'm not a spider girl until I put on the mask, and then I'm a ghost, so you can't really tell. And we'll cut the bullets out. You gotta cut the bullets out, because they ain't coming easy. Okay, there's the bullets. Yeah, that'll put an eye out. Ooh. It's not Nerf. They didn't nerf the bullets. I assume you put one bullet into this hole, one into that hole. Okay, we'll have to figure it out. So we'll put this one in here, right? Ooh, that sound like that was nasty snaps. This one in here. I wonder if that really shoots or if that's just a holding compartment. Okay, so how do you shoot it? Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that one. I almost got camera mom. Mom, you gotta get safety glasses on. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not doing this right. I gotta turn into, oh, that ain't gonna fit. That's gonna hurt. I'll do it for my, ow. I gotta hurry, the blood's cutting off to my face. Oh. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, I'm gonna put the bullet in. So you push the button right here, okay, guys? Camera mom, you're laughing at me. Oh, I'll probably get you now, man. Oh, that feels better. I got a facelift and a tuck and a nip. I'll hit you in the lip. Get the bullets! Your camera mocking, not camera mom. Camera mocking mom, the mocking bird. Okay, so it goes about three to about, no, oh, okay, that's about four feet, right? You want to see the imprints on my face? Oh, yeah, I bet there's an outline there. Okay, well, that was for the girls. I do it for the girls who subscribe to our channel. I ain't doing it again. <laughs> but it is cool. It does look nice. I think you can have a lot of fun with this. And then, you know, you got your backup bullet, and all you have to do is just hit that button right there, and it shoots off three to five feet. Okay, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Here's the next one. This is Miles' booter mask. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That thing is really on. Not going to be able to take that off. That'd be silly just running around with the tag like this. Ah, it's Miles. I'm Miles. Halloween's coming. Yeah. Just wear it for Halloween and take it back and say you didn't wear it in the store. Okay. Oh, man. This one actually is nicer. Call the girl's mask, man. Not so nice. This one, I think, actually gives you a lot more spandy in the decks. Let's see how this works. Oh, that feels a little bit better. You like that, camera mom? You mock me, man, but this is what I do. Uh, this is my living. Okay, so that's, uh, did I look like Miles for a minute? <laughs> you just have to stretch your imagination like Miles worth. And this is for you guys who want to punk out, man. It's the punkster. This one's kind of cool, man. So when someone calls you a punk, you can say, that's right, spider punk. Spider punk. I don't think you're getting anywhere with us without the camera, mom, while you're singing. It's for smaller faces, but I'm just trying to give you, like, you got a picture of a smaller face, you know? Oh, well, he's a punk, man. Oh, and, and you might need to get this out because i got to do a full, like, whammy bar session. That takes about a minute to shut off. <laughs> Okay, next, guys. This guy's really cute. It's the plush of Spider-Man. I know it's not the across the multiverse, universe, things like that, but it's still pretty cool because he can talk. 
Yeah. You can see right there, it's uh, Marvel, Spidey, and his amazing friends, and it's my friend Miles, and it's got 15 sound effects, and you can see that it's by Disney Junior. Honestly, you see right there, it's by Disney Junior. It's on Disney Junior. Anyways, I thought it'd be cool if we just did a quick reveal of this uh, Miles when he talks. Okay, so let's get him out of the box. Oh man, look at that. They zip tied him back there. Oh, he hanging. And we're gonna free you, Miles. So there he is. There's the front. There's the back. And let's go ahead and listen to his sounds. Now remember, this isn't the real Miles. At least I don't think it is. This is from Disney Junior, so it's a Junior Mile. And all you have to do is go ahead and just push his belly. Now you see me, now you don't. Time to swing into action. I love the thwips, you hear that? That's cool thwips. Way to go, Team Spidey. Now you see me, time to swing into action. Way to go, Team Spidey. Is that it, man? Like four? Squish any part of his body to get something more out of him? Okay, 15 plus sound effects. I think uh, we kind of got around four. Definitely not 15. I don't know if it's just like randomized and the randomized keeps going over the four or five and doesn't finish the rest of them and like the other 10 or 11. You know, but still, ugh. He's just got a big plushy head. That's cool. I like it. I, I want to try it out real fast. Okay, guys. Okay, since we're having so much fun shooting bullets, let's go to something a little bit gentler. Let's go to Nerf bullets here. There's Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. And you see right there, it's Miles Morales' tri-shot blaster. So you get to shoot three bullets. Uh, maybe the back will give us a little bit more of a clue. Now you see the pictures, he's shooting one, and it looks like he's pulling back on a lever to shoot the one. Maybe you can load up all three and it just shoots one at a time. I don't know. We'll have to take a look. I'm pretty excited. We like our Nerf guns. We got quite a few of them too. We got like three huge boxes of them. Okay, there's the front and there's the back. Okay, so it says we got to build it. So there's the back. And got all these ties here. Just makes it easier if you can get like a wire cutters. Bullets, right. See, there's your three Nerf bullets right there. It looks kind of spider-ishy, right? It'd be cool if they actually had like little like designs of spider webs on these things. Okay, so this one, one, two, three. Yeah, before you do that, you got to like somehow connect this thing. So, and it goes on the front. Okay, and then you put it like this. Then it's got like a wristband here in and then just crank on it and then just slide it up through here i think we're good i got a lock and load so we're gonna put the bullets here they don't go all the way in there you go so this looks pretty cool guys what do you think and it looks like you just pull back on this can i get my thumb up is that the button Ooh, yeah that's like 30 35 feet that is super cool so let me pull it back see if we can shoot the other three oh yeah <laughs> i don't know where they landed oh there's one that's oh that's cool one at a time here we go Oh, did you hear that one? That one whistled. <laughs> All he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth so he can with you a merry whistle. <laughs> so that thing, that was so cool. I wonder how that worked. You had those Nerf bullets. They actually have little holes in them to make it whistle when they go. I wonder if one of those had a whistle in it. I'm going to go check it out. So we recovered two of the Nerf uh, bullets and they both have little holes in there. On the big Nerf bullets, I think they had like a hole on both sides to make it whistle. So I just want to see. And I don't know why the first two didn't whistle, but that last one did. Maybe it's just the way it's twisted, the way it hits the air. I just want to see if it can whistle again. Yeah, that one whistled. That is super cool. I love that. You know you're going to get hit when you hear a little whistle. Give it a whistle. That didn't whistle at all. That didn't do it at all. But it was in a different slot, this one. And the one that whistled last time, I think it was in the third slot here. God, that was cool, man. This one is really fun. I would get it. In fact, that's why I got it. <laughs> Let's start with our Miles Morales here. So with the action figure, it's Miles Morales. There's the back, and it shows you can get that blue flame, but it's supposed to be a spider web. And then it gives you a little synopsis about him. Miles Morales faces a new villain with abilities that will take more than one Spider-Man to defeat. He doesn't have one. He's got a plethora, and it's pretty fun to go over these new spider uh, man and women here, these spider people, and who we're going to be seeing when this movie comes out. I mean, obviously, we're going to be seeing Miles Morales. He's the star of the show. And so is Gwen. You know, if Gwen didn't come back, man, I'd be like, man, that wouldn't be cool. It just cuts through it really good. Wire clippers. If you don't have them, get them. Yeah, let me see. Uh, looks like he wants to put it on his right hand. There's Miles right there. First of all, okay, his head turns and it goes up and down. Yes, 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 yes. He bends at the elbow. Nice. So he's a son of a good action figure. Oh, he stands really well. Oh, I'm glad he's flat footed. He bends the waist and not the knees but for the bendable parts i think that's great the way it is because i mean if you bend at the knees and it's kind of hard unless you have an action figure stance but most of them you know they can't hold up to it unless you got a doll stand so then for this one it's supposed to go in his right hand i want to say it goes this way around his wrist should just snap around it 
There we go. Wow, he can really turn his elbow, his arm, all the way around. Now, with it going like this, this might be hard because the weight is shifted, unless I can bend him back. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's do our top, and it's going to be our Gwen. And then on the back, a little bit more about her. It says, Gwen Stacy keeps busy between band practice, protecting her city as Spider-Gwen, and keeping her Spidey identity a secret. Oh, she stands. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I'm glad that these action figures can stand. That really makes or breaks an action figure for me. She can bend just like at the elbow. She's got her little fingers up like there in her spider a girl symbol. And she can turn her head. Can she move it up and down? I don't think so. Yeah, but Miles can. I mean, with her, you know, cloak on her head, it just gets it hard to actually do this. But it still looks really cool like that. Okay, same thing. Whichever hand is like got that, you know, hang out sign, but the spider web sign, that's where it's going to go around the wrist right here. So if we go around the wrist, wrist. I think it might look better if it kind of went up like that. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of coming from behind. So if you actually do it at an angle, it might look like she's actually thwipping, but that looks cool. Then next, we got Peter Parker. And there on the back, this original Spooderman says, Peter B. Parker stuck between wanting to protect old pal Miles and siding with his more experienced Spider-Man comrade. This is his more experienced Spider-Man comrade. Okay, maybe I missed that part of the show. <laughs> or maybe that's just part of what we learn in Across the Multiverse. Put in the comments below, let me know, guys. First, we have to unweb him from the boxing here. Oh man, he's just such a scrawny little dude. Look at his big feet, he's got banana feet. Oh man, can I bend him back just a little bit? He can move a little bit at the hips, but I gotta give him some weight to shift back because he's gonna fall forward. And he can move his neck up and down, you know, left and right, turn all the way around. Yeah, a little bit creepy, but you can do it. He's got his thwippage, he's got his fist ready to punch too. You gotta balance him out. And then I assume everybody's going to be uh, right because there's, you know, there's this whipping hand. So we'll just go ahead and put this around his wrist. He's got the same color as Spooderweb as uh, Gwen. Can I see if I can, like, balance him out? Yeah, I thought he kind of had a belly in uh, the multiverse uh, video, you know, Sp the first one with Miles. Didn't he have a belly on him? He's kind of a schlep, you know, schlump, you know, he just kind of, like, had a trench coat on and one chew off. <laughs> he lost some weight. Uh, he must have shaped up here. Okay, next, you're a punk, man. <laughs> it's our punk dude. And it's Spider-Punk. And then on the back, a little bit more about the uh, punk rocker. It says Spider-Punk is a British punk rock Spider-Man with a wicked electric guitar. Well, if it's wicked, it's evil. We gotta get rid of it. First of all, there's our punk. He's got his spike hairdo. And if it's a rock star, you know, what does he do against his enemy? Just play the guitar, and shoot spider webs out of the guitar. You can really get wild with this. So how is he going to hold this? So it looks like if I face it my way, then this. Okay, so this is the hand that's going to grip the stem of the guitar here. Okay, and he's going to come down here. Oh, man, I hope. Okay, I think that's kind of looking good, right? And he's standing up. Oh, wait, he's got to face you guys. His audience, man. He's playing to the crowd. Oh, you know what? We got to do this. Maybe I'll do it with this. Okay, let's go ahead. We got to introduce, let's put Punky to the side and introduce his guitar. There you go. It says it's Spider Punk Web Blast Guitar. And it's got over 25 sounds. And it says it's got the Thwip Whammy Bar Blast. <laughs> so from the Whammy Bar, you can hit that thing. It'll actually shout out. So it's not Nerf. You're going to get some hard plastics shots out of this. There's the front. Anything more in the back? Well, that's kind of cool. At the upper end of the guitar, you can play a Spidey solo just by uh, moving your fingers, sliding them up and down, I guess. And then it's got the Power Chord FX. So it's got a little bit... Well, it's got a bar right here. There's the Power Chord FX. And I guess that's where you can get the different sounds. And then with the whammy bar, that's where you're gonna shoot from. Okay, I think I got it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Take over here, got it. And there's our instruction manual there. Oh, those are beast of some ties there. Those are taped in too. I just have to cut around the tape. And then there's the whammy bar. Oh, we gotta get our uh, bullets out too. Here they are, two bullets, spiderweb bullets. Okay, so here's my axe, and I axe you. How do you play it? Well, there's the front side. It looks pretty cool. Um, it wants us to put the whammy bar in, so it goes right here, and it's supposed to snap in. 
Oh, maybe did it snap in? Not quite. There's actually an extension on the bottom part of the guitar and actually an indent right there. So we're gonna slide that so it fits right in there somehow. There we go. And that is supposed to fire your bullet. And before we get rocking, let's see if we can start popping. Oh, here we go. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> it went about, it went a few feet further than uh, the other one, um, the Gwen. So here we go. Oh, I broke it, but it went actually nine feet. It just popped right out. So the whammy bar not only, you know, doubles as a uh, launcher, but also it's supposed to do something with the music. So with the music on the back, you see Spider-Man. He's got his twippage here. And it's kind of funny. What is this right here? F-S-M-N? It's his rock band. I mean, I guess one's S for Spidey, M for man, and I don't know. Okay, so here on the back, you can see right there, it says demo and it says on. So the demo is just going to give you just a run through of the sounds. But if you go ahead and switch it on, then this is how you're going to play it. Um, up here, you got three spiders right here. And it says one of the sounds comes from actually just uh, pushing one of the three here. It looks like all three are activated. And then down here, you've got your guitar switched. Actually, that's the first thing you're going to do to flip on the sounds. Once you flip it on, then go ahead and play with this and then rock it back and then use the whammy bar. Ready? Let's go ahead and flip it on, see how just rocking we can get and flick it. You know what, guys? We're doing this all wrong. We gotta get a professional to play this. All right, welcome to Wayne's World. I'm Wayne, and Garth isn't here, man. But totally, we're rocking to Wayne's World, man. Here we go. I think somebody broke the... You can hear it. It's just like breaking apart here, just like... So I'm not hitting the right tone. I think I just need to play with these buttons up here. It's like it, it, the drums are starting to get you in beat. It's like, gee, 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 gee. and then you're supposed to be playing now. We're back. That's a different beat. I haven't heard that one. Let me see if I can get to it. That was pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That was cool, man. That was awesome. That one setting here, because they had a couple of different settings, depends on whether you go down or up with the button. And then after it gets going, then you're supposed to be playing it off of here. So this is just to get the tone, the you know, the basic, you know, the drum starting or somebody else starting the band. And then up here, you just go ahead and play it. I love it. And I love the whammy bar, especially the other tone is when you swing it back, then it just goes and then it sounds like it's grinding and you just want to like, it's one of those times in the concert, it's over, man, it's over. <laughs> and you start axing the whole place. And then it's like, yeah, that's how you make your millions become a rock star. You start, you know, damaging things besides the eardrums. That's cool, man. Let's go ahead and um, let's do the next one. This one's interesting. Uh, this Spider-Man 2099, he's the all new and improved Spider-Man. Cause then on the back, it tells you that trying to create a new superhero, Miguel O'Hara accidentally turned himself into the best Spider-Man in the multiverse. <laughs> the best Spider-Man. I'm curious to see what the best Spider-Man can do, man. All powerful. Nobody can destroy him. I mean, I don't know how he pairs up, but glad that he's part of the unit here. Let's go ahead and open him up. I mean, because I thought Miles was cool. Because he had the shocking hands and stuff. I mean, I thought he was the ultimate. Uh, I'd like to see what this 29-9 uh, dude is all about. Oh, what do you guys think of the 2099? I, I wonder what these things on his arms are. Kind of like maybe flames? Because his spooter web here kind of looks like a flame. I mean, there's the wrist. It goes around the wrist, right? And is he doing his thing? No, actually not. I guess you don't need that 2099. You don't have to do this. You can just go. You're so powerful. I think it's his right hand that we're putting it on. And there you go. And he stands really well. And his head moves. And his arms bend at the elbow. Uh, he looks pretty cool. I like that. I'm curious to see what this web's all about. You know, if it really is some sort of fire web. Maybe like venom in his way. It's like fire burns through the veins, man. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I've seen too many other shows and I'm cross multiversing them. Uh, next, this dude right here. It's a Scarlet Spider. And there it is right there, the Scarlet Spider Pumpernickel. On the back, a little bit more about our Scarlet. So Scarlet Spider is an intense Spider-Man who looks super cool fighting crime. Because, <laughs> you know, when you fight crime, you gotta look cool. If you can't put the fear into him, put the coolness in there. It's like, man, I wanna be like you. Do you actually stop crime? No, but you look cool doing it. Okay, what do you think about Scarlet? That looks pretty cool. Um, I know they're coming out with Pokemon's Violet and Scarlet. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Pokemon would be. I'm just cross multiversing right now. I'm thinking, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to go around his wrist, but he already has something white on his wrist here. And to get that band around it might be just a little bit tough. Um, not impossible. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. I just wonder how Scarlet he looks, you know. Spider-Man's already red. Scarlet's just what, kind of a, like a really bright, bright red. Just how many Spider-Mans and girls are going to have in this thing? Speaking of Spider-Girls, there's that one. We got one more, and she's kind of unbelievable. I'll call her Big Bertha, man. She's... Oh. It's Cyborg Spider-Woman with the spinning cannon. She's a healthy gal. I'll go ahead and look in the back and get a little bit more information about her. It says, Cyborg Spider-Woman is part Spider-Woman, part machine with years of experience and a cannon for an arm. You want to be Spider-Web Thwip and then cannon in the head? <laughs> Like, ow. I'm really curious to see uh, this uh, spider girl, this cyborg girl. Look, she, like, I'll pull her out. She dwarfs these guys. It, maybe it's kind of like the Hulk Buster, you know, with um, the Avengers. I mean, this is the end game to all the Spider Mans. It's Spider Big Girl. Oh, look at that. Look at how it twists. Oh, that's cool. It's, yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't know if it's. It should it go backwards or the other way? I don't know if it's supposed to wind up and then watch it spin. That'd be cool, but I don't think. It's just, I don't know. Maybe you're not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> oh, look at the spikes right here. Head rush, boom, spiky right there. And you can kind of see she's got a chest there for a girl, you know. I guess it's the only way I could tell. Such a tiny, tiny head. I mean, it must be a, like a leaf girl inside of a big cyborg body kind of a thing. Oh, wow. Look at those cannons yeah. right there. Boy, I just blasted. So she doesn't have the thwipping because she's got the cannon. I wonder if it's really a cannon or if it's actually just going to shoot spider web, you know, and cannon burst of like cannonball spider webs kind of a thing. I don't know. I I'm really excited to see the movie. That looks cool. Okay, next. Um, this one's just a little bit off the beaten path from all the others. This one I wanted to get uh, still part of, you can see right there, the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, but this one is Miles Morales with the web spinning. I guess you can spin the web, but hey, it comes with one shot, so that's what makes it unique. You get an action figure with a shot at you. And then so on the back it tells you, I think it's the same thing. It says Miles Morales faces a new villain, yeah, with abilities that will take more than one Spider-Man to defeat. This one I'm kind of excited about because you get to at least do more than just have a figure you're standing there you get some action that was shooting so you can really you know do your role playing out here so there's our miles morales will he be able to stand that's that gets a little bit tricky you can move like left or right just a little bit you can see the back he's got screws so he's pretty much not uh, too much of an action figure he can like move his arms and it's like gears grinding <laughs> It's kind of cool. And then I don't know how you shoot it. I just want to see if he can stand. If I need to bend him or something. We may have one that doesn't stand. Um, this one's a bit tricky. I don't know if that's going to stand. I'm not going to fight you, Miles. Well, this might help. When it snaps like this. Is that going to help him stand? No, I was, now he's real. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. So put it in here. And then I assume you pull back on this one or that one or something to shoot it, right? Or twist it, twist it. That's what shoots it. Ooh, I figured it out. That was pretty cool. It went about four feet, actually, four feet. And you only get one shot. You lose that shot, you're done. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. Let's see if we can get the camera. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, so once you bend the feet, it seems like he's going to hold his own. Well, let's go ahead and do the big. This is the uh, Spider-Man 2099, the uh, Titan series. And you see it says right there, the Titan Hero series. So you're just getting a huger action figure, that's all. And then on the back, it says the same thing that we already read, you know, about uh, Miguel O'Hara tried to manipulate generics and he, now he's the best Spider-Man in the multiverse. Yeah, just in the multiverse, not in this universe. I don't know. So let's go ahead and uh, see how big this Titan is. Uh, it's very brilliant. It's very bright. The color's blue. I mean, that's kind of the scarlet color, the red. The only thing you can move, let's see, are his arms. In and out, up and down. That's really nice. And his head can turn a little bit left or right, not too much. Um, he can bend at the torso. You know, I wouldn't do that because then he just loses balance. But for the bigger action figures, that looks pretty cool. That'd be cool if these were blades or something. I don't know. It's kind of like Batman on his, like, little arms here for him.
Okay, so there's the first Titan Hero. And then next, let's do uh, Spider-Gwen Titan Hero series. And again, the same information that we read on the back. Uh, Spider-Gwen has grown up a lot over the past two years, keeping busy between band practice and protecting her identity. Oh, that's interesting. This is different. Okay, let me first, there's something I noticed on her back that I'll talk to you about in just a minute, but I mean, she looks just solid, right? Just, we expect uh, Spider-Gwen, she can move her arms in and out, up and down, and her head. I don't know if I really want to twist her. Yeah, she won't twist. I mean, she's got her uh, cowl on. And then she can move her legs, so it looks really cool. And what's interesting about her back is this right here. Now, we've done this in an earlier video. Well, not with these, but others. And it was in, I think, the Avengers. And you were able to put a chip on the back, depending upon the prongs extensions it would uh, sync up with those extensions and say okay this is supposed to be spider gwen kind of like a barcode thing and it would do voices or voiceover so before it was like i think for uh, spider-man where it actually had i don't know a cloak or a cape or something whatever went on the back is what plugged into here but she doesn't really wear anything on the back unless i don't know what they'd plug in back there so it looks like it's kind of setting up for something like that I'll have to keep an eye on that and then you guys like and subscribe because you know when they come out with more action figures because we're not close yet to the release of the uh, spider-man across the multiverse date yet but as they do i assume they'll release more toys and we want to keep up to date on them let me just go ahead and open this one up Okay, so there's Miles. Oh, he can't move his head at all. But he can move his arms, just like Gwen. Up and down, in and out. The feet move, or at least the uh, legs do. And that's the same thing here on the back. You see, right here, something can get stuck in his back and can do voices. I want to see if they're the kind of the same. Yeah, they look the same. I don't know if these were supposed to be different, like one higher, one lower. So uh, whatever you stuck on the back can detect uh, whose back they're on, and then it can, can do the voices for each one of these characters. So, and what's interesting is that 2099 doesn't have it, and so maybe it's just these two. Okay, guys, out of all the action figures, which one's your favorite? Let's start with the little ones first. I mean, I'm really curious about the punk dude here with his guitar, and if he just like cranks on it and then also cyborg i mean how's she with her cannon that's pretty interesting and then the um, 2099 spider-man i mean he's supposed to be the most powerful out of all of them i'm curious about that what makes him powerful with the flame but out of all of them my favorite are the classics is ghost spider gwen and miles morales and in the titan series same thing here guys be sure to like and subscribe we'll have more and as soon as we get them out if you do hit that notification bell you'll be notified too thanks guys now on to the fortnite challenge we're not gonna win in a spider-man across the multiverse skin and the one that i chose is spider gwen because she knows how to and if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop in the bottom right hand corner you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun all one word it doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out thanks guys uh, the only other purple outfit in here is starfire let's go okay i'm gonna go to my man cave here breakwater bay jump and then you'll notice is a uh, part of the uh, season comes to a close it looks like on top of the citadel here the uh, big circle the portal the pathway has been destroyed and there's a big well yeah look up there there's a red line that goes from top of the citadel well it's burning right here if you look just right over the feet see that's burning and there was a red streak that went right up to the uh, sky there with a big huge red fire in the sky it, something's coming i hope they have a big live event that'd be super cool so it's supposed to be down um, at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, <laughs> March 10th. They're doing that on a Friday morning. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, anything here in the Knight's Chest? It used to be fun opening Knight's Chest because there's a chance you'd find a hammer, and hammer is one of my favorite tools in Fortnite. Um, oh, it was a shockwave uh, with attitude. You can smash people with it too. And I'm gonna go ahead and let me throw down a shield. Waka. Take some minis. I know it probably garners more attention than I care for, but at least they'll think twice before coming over here, I hope. Okay, now we're at full shield. And, oh, okay, somebody ignored the shield warning. It's okay. Let's try and grab what we can. Nice. We got a blue red eye. Kind of oxymoronic, isn't it? All right. Let's get out a little over here. Uh, fireflies? I might need them. Two gentlemen over here taking it out. I'll take one of them out. I guess the other one's disappeared. Let's hurry before they come over here and try to take me out. Yeah, there it Oh, the little stinker. 
Man, you dinker. Who tinky? Ah, it's Starfire. I used to like you in your show, but I don't like it anymore, man. Can I have your autograph? In fact, I will give you my autograph with bullets. That must have been a bot. Why would anybody try to break a wall right there? Anyways, focus on the perks. Let's do first assault. Man, it'd be so cool if they brought back the uh, spider mythics. I think it's going to be grappling hooks. I don't think they're uh, Fortnite's allowed to have those uh, spider web shooters. I don't know. Maybe you have to pay a royalty for it. I don't know. And gone. Don't mind me. Guys, work it out. Somebody's coming. Oh, dude, he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotcha. Where's your friend? Oh, yeah, he coming. Oh, jumping jellyfish here. Let's go. Cool skin, though. I like the outfit. Is that Elvin? Probably from the Elrond clan. Let's go ahead and take a potty break. Nobody's even around. Nice. Is that a common? That's a legendary. Yeah. I will, if I can get to it. There you go. Let's go ahead and do a bounty, a quicker eliminator. Oops. Oh, you shoot the board and it gives you a bounty. Actually, I think I uh, clicked my finger there just before I shot it. Just trigger happy. Okay, let's slap it for speed. Nice chest. Oh, Excalibur. I gotta hurry, man. The storm is right on my tail. It's a beautiful color, that storm. Purple matches my outfit, but I just don't want to be part of it. Let's go hurry and grab a berry. A golden berry. And I'll see a motorcycle. Uh, is there anything here? Apple. A banana. It's just not satisfying me here. I gotta... Is there anything in here? A big pot. Oh, okay, we got some splashes. I think we can make it. Yes, let's go. I think I'm gonna hide out underneath the bridge. Gives me a little bit of cover. Once I'm out of the storm here, we'll swim across the way, and then we'll splash it out. And mythic, yes. Man, I'm getting quite the sweet load out here. I'm feeling pretty confident with myself. Uh, the only thing I think I would like more than this is right over there, a Deku Smasher. Oh god, I'm a long way from home. No way home, Spider-Man far from home, Gwen wants to go home. Yeah, so many homely uh, things, ooh. Ooh, ooh, man, I knocked him really good. Okay, somebody's behind me. I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, dip it over here, oops, and just go into the boat. Let's go. This is still getting me out of uh, the storm here. I think the river will take me uh, just exactly where I need to go. Ooh, yeah, we'll boost it. Ouch. That's more of a rock bed than a river bed. Ah, okay, we get it. You hate boats. I'll take your water skiing next time. Ungrateful Fortniter. Okay, we out of here. It's just right ahead of me. Sweet. Take the Deku. And pistol Amp. Goes right with my Mystic. My Mythical Mystic. Oh, still a lot of players left. Uh, 23 players. Oh, this lobby's taking a while to eliminate themselves. <laughs> or each other, I mean. Try to work our way around. There's a lot of people been eliminated, man, lately. Go oh, down to 12. Ooh, okay. Chicken. Shh, quiet, man. I was saying it to Colonel Sanders, man. Ooh. Okay, who's got the RPG, man? Yeah, it must be you. Okay, where are you going? Ooh, he's doing a knock right to the head, 55. Ooh, no, well, maybe to the neck. Okay, can we hit one of these jellyfishers? Woo! <laughs> that was cool. Let's take the leaves here. Ah, RPG dude, I think, is up there. No, oh, I missed him? I should, oh, I got him on that one. Sweet, ooh. Oh, he rifted. Okay. What about his bot? Can't have him hanging around. Bye-bye, bot. 
Oh, gotcha. Once. You're in the storm, too. Oh, gotcha again. Did that do you in? Crepe salad. <laughs> I just, I'm sitting here in the bushes reading off the names are getting eliminated or stuff. It's crepe salad. Oh, man. Some of the crepey things they come up with for names. <laughs> that was great. And make my way up the hill for players left. Ooh, I've been spotted by who? It must be really close, either in one of those buildings. Ah, RPG dude is uh, back again. I don't like him. No, sir, I don't. That RPG is such a menace. Oh, I've been marked. Let's go. Skittle down, skedazzles. Okay, let's hit one of these uh, pile of leaves. Oops. Oh, incoming. Bye bye. Yeah, the RPG dude, man. He's the first person I want to see out of this back into the lobby. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Oh, he tried to get me. He tried to anticipate I was going to be over there. I don't think so, man. Ooh, 1v2. Okay, let's go. Did he get RPG dude? Please tell me he got RPG dude. Oh, been marked again. Okay, is this RPG dude? Okay, cool. 1v1. Right there. I can see him in the launch pad. Okay, I ain't messing Deku. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's dumb. Cool. Guys, thanks for watching. A lot more to come. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.